Hi everyone, welcome to our Laravel real-time chat application series. In this episode, we're going to learn how to set up Laravel Eco and a, using a chat route. So let's start. If we go to the broadcasting documentation, then in the client side installation, click on this and install these two necessary things, Laravel Eco and PushRJS npm package. Run this command. Okay, so it has been successfully installed. So after that, we have to uncomment some of the things in this file. So resources data slash bootstrap.js. So go to there. Resources JS bootstrap.js. So here oh, there is already Laravel Eco set up and we'll just uncomment these lines. So there's everything is perfect in this file. We have already installed Laravel Eco and Pusher JS and what it has been done it has added this pusher and echo in window command that means we can easily e easily access this like echo dot whatever we can get those things so it has been done like that comment uncomment it and if we go to our app.jsx we can see there is import bootstrap that means bootstrap file this file is important that means uh, in our front end we have got automatically get this eco and other stuff so that's it so now as chat will chat route that and that portion would be definitely an authenticated route so for now we will just uh, use registration and authenticated way and create, create a route for that so first let's create a route for chat if we go to routes then php that is our authenticated routes are added here so in this auth middleware we will add our chat route so we'll just copy one of the resource file one of the route get get url just format it okay so let's uh, get name it a chat and definitely we'll create a controller which would be chat controller this partition make controller chat controller and we don't need any other resources or some kind of stuffs and um, we'll go to the route first we'll go to this kind of route first and check uh, what's what's inside there how they rendered the uh, inertia those other stuffs okay just um, let's go there confirm password controller and look uh, normally in laravel blade we use a normal view but for we, we are using react and it's using under the word inertia renderer so it it would it's renders its uh, view file would be different you cannot call return view of view file name we, we, we need to call like this so let's copy this thing and go to our chat controller and create a method and definitely paste it and we have named our method as index so it would be uh, chat view okay and inertia we have to import it we have to import use inertia inertia okay and look so in our resources like js how it's uh, processed if we go to app.js it's processed like inside of pages there could be a jsx and it would it would resolve by these uh, pages like jsx away so what we would do in pages we will create a folder like chat chat folder okay so let's create a chat folder and inside the chat folder let's create a new file like messenger or something but mm, no, we don't need that we, we can copy one of the mm, file from profile let's get this let, let's get the dashboard.jsx we'll just copy this and paste it in chat okay and definitely rename it uh, rename it to rename this to chat okay and also re rename the controller uh, rename the method name here to be control d control d we'll just re renaming all the stuff so chat okay so we have created this chat and let's go to chat controller and render this would be chat slash chat that means uh, inside our components it would be chat 
be instead of pages it will be chat then chat will be instance okay that's perfect it's not needed we can clear up this so we have created this view and inside our other js let's add it chat controller and it would be index and let's rename our word like chat.index okay that's it so now we can access our route in chat but it's an authenticated route right so we must have to be logged in so let's check if it works or not chat if we go to chat it will redirect us login that's perfect that means we have added it authenticated route and to go there we must have to be registered so so before registered we can use the register we must have to register let's just register with a one example okay just register okay perfect and let's now go to the chat route so slash chat so wow perfect so we have added our chat route that's it and you are logged in we have added uh, in the chat view chat view you are logged in so here here would be our messenger application our chat messenger okay let's check if perfect so we have added this route successfully so now what's our job will be whenever an event will be triggered we must have to be listen from the client so how can we listen and how can we test that if we go to console then we can and if we go to network network tab if we go to reload this look there is a there is a pusher channel there is a there's already it's connected actually so it's activity timeout and those if we trigger anything like uh, trigger anything from here channel test event test and the data would be json data it would be a valid json if you give if you don't give a valid json you should create an error just so send an event so it's fired and if we go there look here is also uh, well, it's not actually it's not reason we have not um, it's we'll do some other stuff okay so what do you would, would do next we would so if we go to receiving broadcasts then we can check listening for events so copy this so we have to listen for an event and let's just test this in app.jsx in here in here after this uh, inertia init can we can use can use it in here okay so what what our channel is our channel was messenger right in our previous lecture we have created an event like message sent and the channel is messenger so the channel is messenger and listen what listen would be it would be a message and send message sent event right we'll fire that event and after that uh, let's see first what's in the console and what would see actually if we pause any um, anything in the message we will get this get that and and that's it so let's see so let's just reload this route and if you refresh this page then you can see event pusher subscribe auth channel messenger wow it's perfect and subscription succeeded so we have successfully subscribed to this channel to this messenger channel and if you go to this if you go to this here you can see some different things like look at this so there is origin look what we have given and channel is messenger and look its type is now subscribed that's perfect previously it was not that subscribed it was like api message if we do some testing but for now as we are subscribed to this to the, to the channel it's uh, its event is subscribed so next let's see if we get anything in the console after listening something that means let's uh, create a using piece version tinker just create an event fire an event uh, we are creating an event hi akash is a message sending event wow we have got this in console that's super exciting okay what what actually done what we have actually used this console.log e e and uh what 
anything any event data we can get e dot message so we can get this data like i can uncomment this so we can get the comment here so let's just fire an event again and wow perfect so hi akash we have got that event and one of the most important and fun beautiful thing is let's just uh duplicate some these few there is many look there there could there could be many windows many user can work simultaneously with that there could be many clients so if you go to the chat route again you can uh, definitely log into another route and check that that would not, would not be any problem also so we have a two client two javascript client i am not i am not testing with different user but you can test also different user that would not make any difference let's hit an event hit an event we have hit an event look we have got the event in this client and this client and if there is 1000 client or wow, many as as many as clients so then everyone will get instantly this event so we can we can achieve this kind of stuff by ajax means uh, we can uh, refresh this page every one second or refresh this client page every one second we can uh, we can get this kind of feature like that but what would be the problem the problem would be every one second the server will get a request and server could shut down and for if your user base is massive so that is not a solution for this kind of chat application so websocket is actually a great solution for this so we have successfully installed laravel eco and we'll get get the get things from console it's a good sign and next we need to learn basics about channel means which means which is private channel public channel we we, we need to learn that things um, very importantly so wait for my next tutorial and like and subscribe to my channel if you have faced any problem just comment the description box Thank you. Bye-bye.